Hello everybody, how are you guys? It's time for another episode of Lyrics Explained where I break down the lyrics of your favorite songs so that you can enjoy them even more. And again, I'm a graduate of the University of Omaha's School of Lyrics, Criticism, and Farm Machinery. And right now we're going to examine a song that's getting all kinds of excitement everywhere. Everybody around town's talking about it. I'm, I was walking by a table at Koi, and I heard this uh, news, it just doesn't seem to die, the news about this. They were talking about it. I heard them talking about it when I passed the table at Koi. And we're here live in Los Angeles, live and raw, so you're gonna hear some street sounds. But guys, you've heard this story. Last week, Justin Bieber tweeted out that he wanted to have a fight with Tom Cruise. And of course, nobody was 100% sure if he's being serious or not, but it it then took on a life of its own and it may actually happen. So now, one thing you've gotta constantly think about when you hear news like that from a big star, and the king of this is Kanye West. Remember, uh, have, have you ever noticed that Kanye's always having some kind of craziness going on just about the same time that his album is coming out, all right? So he's a master. So Biebs is potentially previewing this fight that might happen with this song. So let's break it down. This is a song, I Don't Care, with Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran. I'm at a party I don't want to be at. I don't want to ever wear a suit and tie. Wondering if I could sneak out the back. Nobody's even looking at me in my eyes. Then you take my hand, finish my drink, say, shall we dance? Hell yeah. You know I love you. Did I ever tell you? You make it better like that. So he's setting it up. He's setting up the publicity for this fight. Guys, that's what this song is all about. He's at a party he doesn't want to be at. He wants to be training for the bout with Tom Cruise. Because he knows, even though Tom Cruise is probably 30 years older than him or whatever it is, probably stronger, probably in better shape. He's got to, he's got to get, get prepared. Let's keep going. Don't think I fit in at this party. Everybody's got much, got so much to say. Yeah, I feel like I'm nobody. Hmm. Who wants to fit in anyway? So this may be partly that he, he's talking about all of the people at the party reacting negatively to this potential fight. So he doesn't feel like he fits in. But who wants to fit in anyway? So this is the mark of a champion. So he doesn't even know. And again, the best artists are just communicating what they're feeling in the moment. So he doesn't even know how much his tweet has taken on a life of its own in himself. In himself. So he, let's say, for example, that he was kidding when he first wrote the tweet. Now... It has become a thing, and now he wants to beat the pulp out of Tom Fiction and the Octagon. It, it's it's funny. So that's why you got to be careful when you say things, because eventually you may have to back them up. But so now his personal pride and him are fighting. He's at the party and he's thinking, I should be at home working out. I should be hitting the speed bag. Let's keep going. Uh, cause I don't care with my, uh, cause I don't care when I'm with my baby. Yeah. All the bad things disappear and you're making me feel like I am somebody. I can deal with the bad nights when I'm with my baby. Yeah, because I don't care, etc. So again, he he's uh, alluding to the support that he's getting from his baby, all right, who is going to help him train, all right? And it's going to become his personal trainer. And, you know, it, it's more of a mental support. So when you're hitting the big bag, you know how they, a lot of times the trainer will hold the bag still so there's more of a punch, getting that snap, right? Or when they're doing the, uh, when they're doing <clears throat> jumping rope, okay, they're counting it off. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And the person starts to waver, they're jumping rope, and they're, they're maybe not as clean and tight with the jumping as they were at the beginning. They're like, come on, come on, stand straight, stand straight. And they're like, whoa, whoa. So Bieber would be like, whoa. And he, he gets back into it, 2,000, right? You need somebody. We all need somebody that's going to push us to be our best. Now, you don't think you do, okay? But I'm telling you, a good coach will take you to the next level. Guys, when I was at the University of Omaha Lyrics Appreciation School and Farm Machinery minor, I, I, I mean, I was getting A's the whole time, all right? 
But then as the senior year approached, I started to go to too many parties. I started to slack off. And I remember Professor Wildstrom, he pulled me aside and he said, man, you got the talent to be one of the biggest lyrics guys in the game, but you're slacking off, dude. Okay, I see you, I see it. And I went home that night and I looked in the mirror and I go, man, I, I, I've lost my path. I've lost my way. And I got back in the lyrics game hard. I started training and I, I had a dip. I had a dip there near the January of junior year through, through the beginning of senior year. I could have lost it, guys. I could have, I could have ended up on a, on a really bad way, all right? But thank God I had somebody pushing me. So that's what's happening here. His baby is gonna be pushing him to win this fight, should it even take place, okay? But again, as I encourage you at all times, think on multiple levels with these lyrics, he, he's getting the publicity, the song is publicity for the fight. And if you don't believe me, you haven't been to Kanye West school. <laughs> and I can encourage you, go back. The, if there was a graph of Kanye West craziness, when it's at its peak, and a, and a graph of his album releases, they would match up almost perfectly. And he, and another reason I know that, he said that. He said that in multiple interviews, that he's playing the media just like they uh, believe they're playing him. Guys, it's a very exciting song. There's a, so much going on. And this is what makes this job so fun, is a song like this, uh, of course, with two big stars, Justin, Bie Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran in I Don't Care. Hope that helps.